Hey Aries, it's about that time for y'all love reading. I just op uploaded Gemini's love reading, so make sure y'all check that out if you have any Gemini placements or if you're dealing with a Gemini. If you got any Gemini friends or family members, make sure you share that video with them. Make sure y'all like this video, make sure y'all subscribe. The giveaway has already been uploaded, so um, you can go to the Instagrams that's in my description box. It's posted on both the Instagram accounts, so definitely make sure you know you do the step-by-step -step rules so you can be entered and considered in the giveaway um what else yeah that's pretty much it if you would like to purchase any personal readings you can do so through the link in my description box as well i have palo santo on there i have sage i have healing crystals this oracle deck that i created the mass feelings oracle covid19 edition you can also purchase that through the same link so make sure y'all check that out but this segment i'm gonna pick who you could possibly be dealing with not to say that this is definitely someone that you're dealing with, but, you know, it's a possibility. This isn't going to resonate for everyone. This reading in general won't resonate for everyone. So just, you know, if it don't resonate, don't comment, oh, I'm not dealing with any of those signs because, come on now. But anyways, let me close my eyes and pick who you could possibly, oh, wow, I meant to pick three, but I picked more. Fuck it, though. So you could be dealing with a cancer. Or they could have cancer placements. A Taurus or a Taurus placements. Don't mind my nail, y'all. It broke while I was busting a U-turn. Aries or Aries placements. Or a Leo or Leo placements. So those are the signs that you could possibly be dealing with. And I'm going to get started on your love reading. So, Aries. What's going on in your love life? What's currently going on in your love life? Let's see, what's currently going on in your love life? You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Pisces. The moon card came out. Hmm. Clarification on the moon. Okay, you could be dealing with the Taurus. Hierophant came out. All right, so honestly, what I see that's going on in your love life right now is that you're putting an effort towards a love connection or towards different people, but you feel as if you're not getting that same effort back. You feel like the love or the affection or whatever that you're giving isn't being reciprocated. But with the moon card, it's like you're not speaking on it. You're keeping it to yourself. You feel as if, um, and maybe with the Hierophant reverse, you may feel as if it's impractical or childish for you to speak on that which it isn't at all if you if you're giving your all to someone and they're not doing the same or you feel like they're not doing the same then definitely speak on it it's not impractical it's not childish it's not and none of that definitely speak on it but i see that's something that you're not speaking about you're holding it in you're not letting it be known like don't do that because that's how you explode that's how you explode and then the person looks at you like you're crazy like why did this person just violate me like this or black on me like this and whole time it's because you've been building it up you should definitely speak on it but all right let's see aries the person that you're dealing with or that's on your mind how do they feel about you how does this person feel about you Ooh, that card flew all right so we have the eight of cups reverse we have the ten of pentacles you might have been like engaged to this person. We have the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles together with the King of Swords. You may have been engaged to this person or spoke about starting a family or getting engaged with this person. But I see that this person is like, they're trying not to think of you. With the Eight of Cups reverse, I'm getting the vibe that they're trying not to think of you and what could have been in the future. It's like they're trying to be mature. They're trying to be logical. They're trying to stay to their self. This could be someone that you're separated from. It could be someone that you're dealing with right now. But regardless, basically, I see that this person is trying not to dwell on what the future could be. It's like they had this image. They had this idea. And maybe you told them, like, look, I don't want this, this and that right now. And that's why they're trying not to think of it. Or you two are separated. And that's why they're trying not to think of it either way it goes i see that this person is really trying not to think about the future between y'all they may be acting nonchalant how else does this person feel about the aries one more card okay two more cards ended up coming out all right so my life is not as together as it seems i see that this person is putting on a facade that their life is oh so great but in reality it isn't 
I left before you could hurt me. That's pretty self-explanatory. I see that this person, honestly, I feel like for the most part, you two are separated. I, I see that there's a distance, whether it be emotionally or physically. I feel like you two are separated for the most part. But with the I left before you could hurt me, I feel like this person definitely did try to leave before um, before you could hurt them. It's like they felt their self getting way too deep. You know we're not meant to be. That could be why they're not. That could be why they're trying to not think of what could have been because it's like, okay, I think we're not meant to be. But I did want this, this, and that with this person. I did see this, this, and that happening with this person. I did see us having a family and being married and this and that. But we're not meant to be, so I have to stop thinking about it. And then I am unavailable. I honestly see that they view you as someone who's unavailable. They view you as someone who they can't really get to. Even if you two are dealing with each other right now, they view you as someone who's unavailable for what they want. Alrighty. Let's see how you feel about this person, Aries. Let's see, how does Aries feel about this person? How does Aries feel about this person? Let me get one more card. Okay. So we have the Five of Swords, the Three of Pentacles, and the King of Swords. I see, honestly, that you have your guard up. I see that you have your guard up I feel that you want to put an effort into this connection, but you have your guard up so high with the five of swords. It's like you have your guard up so high, but yet you want to work on it. And even then, you can see this person is still willing to put up a fight. You see them with their sword, well, all their swords, really, but this one is ready, like, for fight mode. I see that this person is willing to put up a fight, to put in effort, but I don't know. It's like they, why? Well, no, this is how you feel. I'm tripping, tripping, y'all. Sometimes I just be talking and don't even be knowing what I'm talking about. I'm just like relaying the message. But no, I think I was saying that, that you could see yourself working on it or you could see, basically you wanna put up a fight, but with the King of Swords, I'm not even sure what's that trying to say. I feel like you may, honestly, you may feel that it's more logical and it's more mature for you to stay away. It's like, yeah, I want to put up a fight. Yeah, I want to be with this person. Yeah, I love this person. But it may make more sense for me to stay away. It may be more mature of me to stay away. Clarification on the King of Swords. The Hierophant, once again. Yeah, I feel like you're... You're trying to be practical. It's like, you're trying not to really give too much of yourself. Honestly. I really feel as if you're waiting around, not even waiting around for this person, but you're waiting to see what this person does or says. It's like, you're waiting to see, okay, are they going to make it known that they want to be with me? Are they going to make it known that they want to um, work on it? It's like, I feel like you're waiting around not waiting around how can i say it it's like you're waiting to see this person's next move basically that's what i'm getting from this whole thing it's like you want to put an effort you want to put up a fight but you're seeing what their next move is before you even speak on it how else do you feel about this person oh wow that flew one more card okay so the first card that came out is i can't stop thinking about you i honestly already felt that i can see that this connection is heavy on your mind what to do next is heavy on your mind so i definitely see that you can't stop thinking about this person aries sometimes i stay awake thinking about you like damn they have you on your mind throughout the day till night they're heavy on your mind and then i still love you despite everything you still love this person you still have love for them i see that you still want to be with this person but in your eyes it's like you're waiting to see how much effort they're willing to put before you act on anything Alrighty, what's the outcome what is the outcome of this connection with the aries and their person what is the outcome of this connection with the aries and their person okay i feel like 
y'all are gonna start fresh, but it's still gonna be the same bullshit. I feel like y'all are gonna start fresh. Y'all are gonna decide to work on things, to start fresh, to be together. But with the Five of Pentacles, it's still gonna be the same bullshit. It's still gonna be the same old thing. With the Tower card, honestly, I see chaos and drama. It could be soon, especially with Mercury and Retrograde. Um, the Tower, that card is just screaming mercury retrograde it's just it's just screaming mercury retrograde which i think we're going into retrograde i think the 28th or the 29th but this is just screaming retrograde energy like i see that it's gonna be a bunch of bullshit and conflict so it's like yeah y'all gonna y'all gonna start a new beginning together but some way somehow it's gonna go right back to some bullshit you could be dealing with another aries we have the fool and the emperor here we have heavy aries energy but with the emperor i feel like somebody here is going to be very controlling somebody's going to be very stubborn yet very controlling but i honestly see bullshit like i see you two willing to work on things yeah but then i honestly see bullshit in the end which this isn't set in stone so you know if you want to continue dealing with this person go right ahead this isn't set in stone like it could turn out great you two could end up having a family getting married this this and that but what i see for right now in the near future is going to be pure bullshit so definitely watch out with this person. Um, let me get some advice for y'all. Let me get some advice for Aries. I say trust your intuition. If your intuition is telling you that it's going to be bullshit, trust it. Trust your intuition and focus on yourself in the meantime. Don't stress too much about this connection. Don't stress too much about what's going on in this connection. Um, do your own thing. I honestly see, don't put all your eggs in one basket. With the Nine of Cups, live the single life if you want to. Live the single life but not even if you want to but live the single life in general don't put all your eggs in one basket like see what's out there instead of continuously putting your all into someone who isn't really reciprocating much and once again trust your intuition trust your gut instinct but i hope you guys enjoyed this reading make sure y'all like make sure y'all subscribe once again the giveaway is already up um my it's on my Instagram and I have both of the Instagram pages in the description box. So definitely make sure that you guys um, go enter the giveaway. But thank you for watching, you guys. Bye.